Hey guys, we're back with Big Cat Little Dog. So, I think you do have to take into account if you have a very large dog and a very small dog. What could be normal behavior between do two dogs of the same size is going to be a disaster if there's a huge size difference. You know, you've got and you've got to compensate for that. And the one that's got to compensate is the larger dog, especially the larger, uh, younger dog. Yeah, I don't care. I think you got at 3 o'clock this morning. Runs around out there. She's just trying to go to the pond. I heard that from Kyle the Wild. Oh, hey, girl. I'll make this episode just custom for Chelsea. Since I flew down from heaven somehow and landed in your life. Chelsea's like, how is it even possible? But yeah, we need to write that down too, Chelsea, because there are a lot of people with the big dog and a small dog who would say, oh, the little one starts it. I dare you, something's a lot bigger than me. I put up a big racket too. You call that starting it. You know, they need to understand that that is display threat. That's not, you know, that's saber rattling and that's designed to try to scare away a perceived enemy. Not starting shit. I'm gonna watch what I say. The FCC will kick me off and you too. Oh my god, Chelsea. I just figured out what's wrong with me though. While I was on YouTube, luckily now all my problems are solved. I've now figured out what's wrong with me. Uh, and I'm not the only one. Apparently it's quite common. It's called social media addiction. Apparently, in order to get me, the only way to get me to stop uploading is going to be drag me out of here in a straight jacket and take me to this camp in the wilderness and make me stay there for we don't know how long, a long time. And then I'll come back home and start doing it again. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It does explain it. I don't know why I would keep uploading. Luckily, me. But yeah, that's what you've got to think of. The small dog, you know, you've got to tell people. It's not the small dog not starting it. You've got to put some kind of compensation. If one of them is, you know, if that thing weighs 15 pounds, that weighs 130, it's basically 10 times bigger. So that one better be 10 times better than that one. That one better be 10 times more tolerant than that one. And I got a new platform. Which actually, I can probably get the great thing. I always see bottoms to could use this. I think you need to inform people about that too, about their dogs. Sometimes they, want, they need to hear that question. When they're just worn out from this dog, night and day, the demands of this dog, not eating its food, tearing up all their family heirlooms, doing all these things. You have to tell them on some level, you don't deserve it. The dog needs to change. They chew bottom. They need to change. You know, we already know. And that's what you have to say to yourself, and I don't need to see any more to understand this dog is a threat to that small dog. So I'm not going to, and that needs to be your mood too, if they get up in your face. Oh, boy, she got him through the floor. She won't break the floor, does she? Oh, no, unless it falls. Oh, God, please don't fall. Oh, no, it got a bit. She's getting ready to take advantage of it. You know, and she said, what was that? Well, she's getting ready to exploit the fact that she could see it was been kind of hanging on by one paw, getting ready to fall. Okay, I think that might help. But yeah, we, you know, we need to write that down. We need to have an equipment list. Not... You know, and this is what we have to, you know, we have to say this too, Chelsea, you have to put in there. You know, if you're having difficulty even gathering the right equipment. Okay, yeah, I went on Wi-Fi. I had taken it off Wi-Fi for some reason. All right, look, now this dog's humping on that one. That's going to be a problem. Oh, it's giving it hugs. Yeah, I hope you're seeing that, Ann. You said what's going to be a problem here pretty quick, that. Um, it's hugs. But, you know, if you're having a problem gathering the correct equipment, you may have difficulty training the dog. You know, honestly, and, you know, 
you, you need to submit video. I think we need to include that with the ebook. You'll be able to submit three videos for feedback. I do that as a hobby anyway. And if they say, well, we couldn't make the video. My husband was at home. I didn't have anybody to hold the camera. My phone wasn't working. Okay, well, you're probably not gonna be able to train a dog then because we need to put all that in there. If these are the excuses, Oh, Linnea, thank God you're here. I, I keep trying to get back on Facebook. I'm realizing now, I apparently was in a world not understanding that that existed where they're just controlling you that way. Uh, and, you know, and that's, it is a very, very good example. And this is what I want you to write down too, Chelsea. The reason it keeps happening and the reason I don't learn is because I don't understand exactly what the problem is. And that's the same thing with dogs. My compulsion to upload the, the little clips that already have music, they're already on YouTube. So by my standard, by my yardstick, I'm not doing anything wrong. YouTube has, they're on my YouTube, you know. But somehow I'm getting sketchy when I put it on, but not all of them, not all of them. They'll tell you, it seems like this is someone else's music. Do you want to upload it? And I put no. And they sent me an email and said, don't worry, you're not in trouble. Then they blocked me. Just like me. Just like me when I say, oh, okay, great. Thanks a lot. Good day. <laughs> it's psychological. Anyway, so this great Dane is an ass, basically. And these three dogs definitely don't get along. Your job is to not do anything that is going to augment that, their dislike. And, and if you said, what would that be? Well, jealousy and possessiveness and all of us, all three of us feeling entitled to all three of the bones, not, not resigning ourselves to. We each get one, we'll share. I'll tell you what happens. This one says, I'm bigger than them. Back off, mofo. There's that one too. There's don't come up behind me, mofo, and back off, mofo. All right, so my job, oh, Crash is giving me the remote. Watch, she'll do it, Chelsea, watch. So remember, I'm looking at a dog, and we gotta write all this stuff down too. If you're so gross, your movements getting the collar on are so gross and abrupt, that's a battle just to get the collar on, and then you get the shake off. It's probably not gonna go well. It's not going to go the way you want it to go. Let's put it that. Certainly not long term. But I'm deliberately gone. So we need to write that, that down. And, you know, and that needs to be in the beginning, too. I think you've got to ram a bunch of stuff down. Okay, I can see your comments now, you guys. Oh, do I have super chat? Okay, now I can see it. Uh, yeah, if they can't even gather the... Okay, I have to maybe hit the comment thing. Oh yeah, no, I'm completely insane. I, I see the most horrible things. There's a video of this. I'm not even gonna send it to you, Chelsea. The only person I could even send it to is Mike. And, and he said, OMG, he, he almost never says that. Uh, but this, you know, and then you're gonna see more of this. It was in Mexico or something, but this, some, oh, according to the people, a burglar broke in and these people's pit bull basically took the guy's face off and they got him in the hospital. I can't imagine that this, that, that wasn't fatal. Yeah, that's rough. Anyway, so now I've got the collar on the dog, but I don't, and I think we need to write that down too. And you need to be deliberate about it. When I'm actively training them, I, I keep it on, uh, you know, very first. I don't let them out of the crate without putting it on and then keep it on until they go in for the night. If you're actively training them, what people don't do is, oh, I haven't been using it around the house. So then they start using it when they go out. So then the dog starts connecting it to going out. Now the dog's jumping around. Now they really can't get the collar on. Yeah, that's all of you at home. But you know, that's what I understand too, Chelsea. That's 
don't know why that only came to me last Tuesday, but what we're initially saying with the caller is, I'm going to need you to go faster than that. You know, once you're there, I could take a slow-moving dog and make it stop fairly easily. That's why these people think they have a methodology. But can I get that dog and make it go fast? Not if I'm not careful, I can't. Not if I'm not careful. Okay, she's awful. Oh, okay, I gotta be careful with Crash. She'll run into me. So I got it going around the cone by accident. Oh, I hope you saw that, Chelsea. So we need to have that. We need to have the basket drill, the cone drill. That's maybe a little bit more advanced. We'll put that in sort of the little, there'll be like a little small advanced. If there's people that can just plow through the basics and get all that. I'm starting to understand there might not be that many people that, you know. And that's what I kind of understood too, Chelsea. That's why these people are gravitating to this two-week stuff. That's what they feel like their skill level is. That's, am I wrong? That's where they feel like their skill level is going to take them. <laughs> Awful! All right, let's see if I can do it. Let's go around the cone. Try to direct it with my hands. And I used Pager to make her go faster. All right, I might be able to get her on this platform because it's big enough. If she sees the other one going up there. I remember though, I found an old Briggy video. I'm gonna tell you right now, there if you tried to force this dog up here, it's it's already You know, and we maybe need to write that down too. Dogs have a neutral behavior where their body is ready to go one way or the other. That that's where that Oh Briggy, she she believes any rumor that there's something out there, look at her. Oh, yeah, oh, no, she'll run barking. No, she she, she doesn't need to see anything. Oh, she needs to hear is a rumor that there's a burglar breaking in. Possibly a rabid squirrel, anything right now. Look, this one's going to get hanky. And if you said, what can you do from there? How can you get it? You can penetrate hinky with the pager. Let's see if it does it again. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> Yeah, you need to have a platform, you need to have, you know, we need to tell them, you need to have water available for the dog, you know. I don't know, they, they'll train them until they're, you know. I think the dog needs to understand there's water available during the training, don't you think, she tells, you know, you, you know, if you don't tell people this, they're not going to know. And then they're going to send a video where the dog is just dying of thirst, and you're going to go, uh, All right, let me see if I can get it, go around the cone. Oh, here comes she got it. Oh, she got it. Yay! Uh, and I think as long as you're fumbling and I'm still moving, you're doing the right thing. Yeah, they love the new improved platform. And I think we need to write that down too, Chelsea. You know, and that's what you need to think of too at home. They're saying to themselves, we have to ask them, what are they saying to themselves? What is the platform to them? Yeah, required equipment, uh, required skill. And this is what we need to write down too, because people need to understand, again, it's their skill on your part that's required. I mean, intuition, if you're not ever see anything before it happens, and you chronically say, I didn't see that coming, that's not good. <laughs> you may want to hire a professional. Yeah, we need to have that. Under if you fit any of these categories, you may want to hire a professional. Oh. <laughs> By professional, we mean I don't even know who. That's the sad part. But that's the key. You're using the collar for motion, but not only for motion, but to say I'm going to need you to go faster than you're going. Your job is however fast it's going to see if you, by virtue of whatever power you have, you know, and shy, you need to understand, you know, because 
I said, start working on getting the dog moving in your direction. Well, he doesn't have the collar. It's, it doesn't matter. It's a methodology without the collar. It's a methodology without the collar. So whether we, I, you know, and I think that would be a good idea too. If you could get somebody that didn't have a collar that liked the methodology that could see, you know, well, I see now where if I had a collar, you know. We have to try to get them whatever way we can. Educate.